Well, this month marks one year that a Tyler group has been meeting. The committee's goal, building a closer relationship with the Hispanic community. In the morning, Luke's Monica Ortiz caught up with several members to see what they've been working on and what they say needs to be done in the coming year. If you want the community to be uh, really an extension of the department and, and having that working relationship, uh, it's about establishing the trust, and so far the community's been very responsive to it. Started by Tyler Police Department Sergeant Matthew Ligaber and Tyler Attorney Nick Pacina, the Hispanic Advisory Committee includes about 10 members. We all represent di different um, sections of the community. The committee ranges from staff on the Tyler Police Department to Hispanic leaders in the community. One of the big concepts that the police chief and his team is focusing on is community policing. Meaning building a stronger bond with people living in the Tyler area and in this case the Hispanic community. I understand why the police department wants to build a bridge. We need it. Hispanics don't usually, you know, report crime. They don't want to be involved with police. That's what they think we're here for, that we're just here to take people away. For one year, the committee has been meeting once every other month. So far, they've attended events such as La Academia for Spanish-speaking parents of Tyler ISD students. They've also went door-to-door -door in their target areas. Once that message gets across and once we build that trust and that rapport with the Hispanic community, that it'll be, a, you know, an easier thing to facilitate, you know, crime reporting, problems in the community, fixing all that. According to Molina and Pastina, in the coming year, they hope to host an open forum to help start that open dialogue. In Tyler, Monica Ortiz, CBS 19.